the cell, the smallest unit of all living organisms. Invisible to the naked eye, they are the constant focus of our research. There are still many questions to answer and much to be discovered. Why are some cells healthy and others not? We want to understand the molecular mechanisms that control what cells do. To this end, we develop methods for measuring, quantifying and also manipulating cells to make them behave as we'd like them to. We use innovative software to analyze molecular processes. We need to know how molecules control cells and how cells function. Cells interact with one another. Each has its own function and purpose. To decipher these, we use leading-edge technology. We want to learn how cells preserve their function over the long term, what we call cellular memory. A blood cell forms another blood cell, and this cell lineage continues performing its function in the blood over a period of many years. We know that epigenetic gene control plays a key role here. We want to acquire a much deeper understanding of the fidelity of cell identities within the body. Once we understand the basic unit of epigenetic information, we can actively influence cell behavior. We combine technology and biology. Microtissue on chips allows us to replicate metabolic processes. We represent the human body on the chip using microtissues of the individual organs, such as pancreas, liver or heart. And we interconnect them on the chip as they're arranged in the body. The blood circulation connects the various organs. We do the same on the chip, however with a culture solution rather than with blood. We can then add active compounds and influence the arrangement. Cells linked to microelectronics are used to test pharmaceutical substances. This should make research into active compounds much more efficient in future. Biotechnology for the healthcare of the future. Personalized medicine is our ultimate goal. We reprogram cells in order to treat disease. Over the next 10 years, we hope to run clinical trials that will validate our concept of molecular prosthetics. In other words, providing implantable designer cells that diagnose, treat and correct metabolic disorders, such as obesity, autoimmune disorders and diabetes. How do we program cells in order to eliminate genetic defects in future? Theoretical basis for subsequent practical work. We invest in the future by sharing know-how, constantly questioning and making new discoveries in the process. The way I see it, passing on know-how to the younger generation has two key aspects. First, it's obviously a great feeling to see in the course of my daily work that students are actually learning something. Second, it's important for Switzerland as a major technology and research hub to make sure young people are trained to a high enough standard to progress towards an active role in industry or research. Our fundamental research has a practical emphasis, so we particularly value our close collaboration with innovative companies in the Basel region. Our goal is to understand how pathogens spread and to use this knowledge to contain their spread in the future. To do so, it is essential to collect data on patients infected with pathogens. The University Hospital collects this patient data, for which our group then develops new statistical methods that help us interpret these data and analyse them in collaboration with the University Hospital. 
Our lively exchange of ideas, coupled with interdisciplinary collaboration, produces novel approaches and new models. There's a lot of biology that goes into um, genetically engineering these cells to respond to blue light and so that we can also measure the amount of transcription. The engineering comes in being able to hook up this micromirror device and uh, make sure that it targets individual cells with precision. And of course the theory comes in when we control these random transcription events. Biology, theory, engineering. Three research areas under one roof assure a comprehensive understanding of biosystems. Based in Basel on the Rhine, in the center of Europe's life sciences capital, Department of Biosystems, outstanding competence in biosystems of the future.